It looks almost like an act of worship, but this is science. Mirrored panels, known as heliostats, turn in unison towards a tower. They direct onto it a powerful glow, sunlight. This could revolutionize the way the sun creates electricity. It's the latest frontier for solar power. Really, these types of projects are really uh, where you can push the boundaries a little, but also demonstrate exactly what the potential of the technology is. The technology works by concentrating sunlight on a single point. Liquid there is heated to extreme temperatures, almost 600 degrees Celsius, creating supercritical steam. That drives a turbine at high speed and high pressure to create power. The steam and turbine part of the technology isn't new. It's the use of the sun's energy to create the steam to power it that is. Something like 90% of the world's electricity comes from making that hot fluid today and then expanding it through some sort of turbine. All we are doing here is changing the front end and having concentrated sun to make that, that hot fluid, replacing the normal heat production which normally comes from coal or gas or biomass or even nuclear. The potential is enormous. It wouldn't take huge areas of sun-baked land to create big quantities of power. This is just a prototype, but the hope is that in years to come there could be fields of solar mirrors in deserts all over the world. One just 50 kilometres by 50 kilometres could provide enough electricity for a quarter of all Australia's needs. At the moment, the technology is very expensive and recent falls in the price of fossil fuels don't help make innovative green solutions competitive. But in the long term, this technology could represent the best chance for solar to play a big role in electricity production. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Newcastle, Australia.